We are a change with host Howard Nima. Exposing the collectivist global elite's Malthusian quest for a new world order. A one world dictatorial government where all aspects of human life are under their control. Truth Talk Radio. Where news the mainstream media ignores is the top story and your voice is heard. Fridays 1 to 3 p.m. and Saturdays 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Only on informedradio.com. This is going to be a great show. I got a lot of things planned. It's going to be uh, quite an interesting experience. A lot of news to cover. A lot of pertinent information that the media ignores because this is We Are Change, where news the controlled mainstream media ignores is the top story and your voice is heard. Anyway, um, you can also check us out at wearechangect.org. Uh, there are rebroadcasts of all these shows at uh, informedradio.com and uh, video broadcasts at YouTube slash Freedom First Films. Tomorrow, interestingly enough, is uh, the 180th birthday of James Garfield, who was born on November 19th, 1831. Uh, he was shot on uh, July 2nd, 1881. As everyone knows, he was, of course, assassinated. He died sometime later on uh, the 19th of uh, September of that year. But I just thought it's interesting. There's, I'm going to do a whole uh, perspective on the, the life of James Garfield tomorrow. And I thought I would just preamble that because it's going to be real interesting. I've got a lot of good stuff planned for it. Interestingly enough, the day that he was uh, shot by John Guiteau, uh, uh, Charles Guiteau, excuse me, who was uh, uh, like a, a real like misfitted guy, like a whacked out sort of guy who was trying to get an ambassadorship. I'll, I'll go into the whole thing tomorrow. But he shot him on the 2nd of July, 1881, at the train station. Uh, in Washington. Interestingly enough, if you add up the numbers, uh, they're 999. Nine, nine. Uh, 7 and 2 is 9, 1 and 8 is 9, and 8 and 1 is 9. I just never noticed that until recently when I had done some research on numerology because of this 11-11 phenomenon. And Kane's 999, which is Kane and like 666. Just sort of interesting stuff. So uh, I'm just going to go into the uh, sur uh, what actually was the reported history of the murder of uh, James Garfield and uh, the, some of the things that he had said on record and some of the things about the banking industry and um, you know once again history might not be uh, revealing all the truth uh, through those uh, controlled uh, textbooks that we read in school and uh, read in libraries and such. Uh, deep research, congressional testimony like works by uh, Eustace Mullins you could find to be incredible how much uh, stuff is just not reported by history in books like The uh, the World Order, uh, written in 1985 by Eustace Mullins. Everybody should check it out. So anyway, news today. What's going on? Well, Oscar Romero Ortega Hernandez, uh, of course, was arrested and in custody in Pennsylvania. He's in some really deep shit. Uh, talk about deep shit. First of all, he uh, shot at the White House. Now, the president wasn't there, but he has been charged by the Department of Justice uh, with uh, attempting to assassinate the president, which is like a pretty big, I mean, I don't think you can get any worse than that. And this guy is in some hard, sh hard he, you know, they want to make an example out of him. They say, you're not going to do this. You're not going to, you know, you know, the guy's obviously disturbed. Um, it's hard to, it's hard to understand the whole situation with it, but the 21-year-old man wanted, uh, in the connection with the shooting, uh, uh, is of course uh, in custody and uh, they're going to throw the book at him and <laughs> he is screwed. Police said Ortega Hernandez uh, was uh, not tied to any fringe or radical groups. So they're saying that he's a lone gunman type person or a lone person. According to the Associated Press, Ortega Hernandez is from Idaho Falls, Idaho and was reported missing by his family on October 31st. So they've been looking for this guy. Obviously, he's got some issues. Uh, looking at the picture of him, he looks, you know, <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever seen the picture of him, but uh, certainly uh, an interesting looking character. Um, the U.S. Park Police Monday searched the Occupy uh, D.C. encampment over there, and they uh, followed up uh, reportings of sightings of Ortiz Hernandez among the protest groups, and uh, that's how they, they nabbed his ass. So he's going to, he's, he's finished. Anyway, uh, the D.C. shooting suspect uh, could have been a threat. Yeah, we know that, of course. ABC News reported that. Uh, they are, of course, pre-reporting the news. Um, this was reported, uh, as we know, that uh, he could be a threat to Obama. 
even though Obama was not in town. So that makes no sense to me, personally. I mean, I understand the guy did a very bad thing. Uh, and, he, I mean, he's going to obviously be seriously punished, even under uh, le uh, uh, normal terms or what you would consider to be uh, reasonable terms, un unlike this, like, fascist uh, judicial system, system that's been, like, uh, evolving over the last 50 years, uh, slowly evolving into this police state uh, where the prison rates are having all of these minor infractions and everything's a crime and... Uh, you, you know, it's just getting to be this way, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I'm here on the radio, and that's why you should all be listening to We Are Change Fridays from 1 to 3 and Saturdays, 3 to 5 p.m., here on informedradio.com. Uh, this is where the news the controlled mainstream media ignores is the top story, and this is not what they're talking about. I mean, why? L listen to this. Th this poor guy did a really bad thing. I, I know that it's horrible to, to shoot at the White House, but Obama's not there. How can they say that it's an attempt to kill the president? It just doesn't make sense. That's like me shooting at um, uh, my neighbor's house when they're not home. It's it's damage, you know. It's it's a violation. It's damage. You broke something. You did, you know. But I didn't try to kill him. I, you know, even if I was angry at him, I shot at his dog. I mean, it happens all the time. And I mean, come on, let's report that. No. Let's let, let's report that uh, police do that. That they shoot dogs and animals. Let's report. That peep there, you know, you know. Let's turn around the 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 cops show that's been on for twenty years, uh, mimicking, excuse me, uh, making fun of uh, all the like the the low lifes and degenerates, and just showing them to make so so that America can laugh at them uh, while they're being incarcerated, drunk off their ass, and these like white trash and whatever type of people that they are, and just and everybody laughs and thinks it's a great thing. Not realizing that, and and then uh, on the flip side, I mean, these there's just as bad stuff going on that they're not showing you. Exactly the the, the opposite, where the police are, are, you know, they're they're trying to put the police in this particular light. That's not true, and it's not the police's fault. It's the it's the uh, the system. It's the way that they explain uh, to these cops how to react to situations. And what they're what they're supposed to do, and what they do is tyranny, and they accept, and most of them accept doing it, like like spraying mace in an 85 year old woman's face. I don't care what she did. I don't care what she, I don't care if she slapped me in the face five times, a hundred times. How the hell could you mace an 85 year old woman? It's bringing tears to my eyes. I swear to God, it's unbelievable what is going on. And they try to just distort. The truth. That's the truth. These people are angry because the criminals have hijacked our governments worldwide to bring us into a new world order that is going to make all of this trouble look like, 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 a, like, a, like just a, you know, a, a bad day at the, uh, you know, a bad day on the stock market. This is nothing to what's going to come. Anyway, so much for the police uh, messing up uh, that whole thing. The Department of Justice, I should say, I shouldn't say the police. D.C. suspect is definitely, he definitely was, just because he said he hated the president uh, and fired at the White House, they charged him with his, uh, attempting to kill the president. So, I mean, they want to they hang him, they want to literally have him uh, put to death. Okay. Okay. You defy tyranny in whichever way you perceive it. Instead of uh, putting him into a mental institution or uh, saying that he's, uh, you know, obviously, you know, needs some assistance. No. They're going to charge him with attempting to kill the president. More money for the government to have to spend defending this thing. This poor guy probably is broke. Desperate insane and needs help. Now they'll help illegal aliens come across the border and um, you know even though the, the you know, I mean I had a whole piece on that I mean they'll, they'll help them they'll help that but they won't help uh, somebody that really needs some mental help because he fires some bullets at the White House. I don't know why it bothers me so much I mean the guy's obviously insane but it's just, how can you in charge, I mean, that's the thing. How could you have 
the conscience to charge somebody that's in, obviously mentally ill, his family's looking for him for, for two weeks. They know that something's wrong with him. Uh, with the, you know, it's like he's like Charles Gateau. Interestingly enough, he's like Charles Gateau. Very much like Charles Gateau. Maybe I should talk about James Garfield, whose birthday is tomorrow. See, Charles Gateau was a part of the Onita Society, who, who, who believed uh, in perfectionism, which was that Jesus Christ had already come to the, you know, he'd already come back, he'd, he'd risen, he, he, you know, he's, he's clean back, and uh, in the year 70, and, uh, well, he'd risen, but he came back. Uh, the rapture had occurred, in other words, and Christ is so that everyone's free from sin because he, re he returned in the year 70, and they had the they everybody was having sex with everybody and it was wild and these un unorthodox sex practices it was like an offshoot now not, I'm not trying to, to to mock the Mormons but it's like an offshoot of that of Mormonism and it was created by um, I'm trying to remember the guy's name oh my God the Onita Society it was in like the 1840s and the guy who started it was oh I can't remember his name. Anyway, that was just a, a, a digression. But tomorrow's show, I'll cover everything. Uh, so again, tune in tomorrow. And tune in every Saturday, 3 to 5, here at informradio.com. All right. Um, Obama's also praising Australia's draconian carbon tax. Now, he, he's just... Um, I, I mean, it's so obvious, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, just pay attention to this. He says one thing and does the opposite for for the benefit of his of his minions the people that that got him in that got him elected the people that that he he must he must pay to them you know this is his his the way of uh, continuing the regime because it is not the president but it is the power structure controlled by the elite and that is the entire story uh, the the pyramid of evil begins with uh, this puppet president, everybody just believing what he says. They needed a pu They got themselves the slickest, perfect person. Okay, he can say that you know. In one hand, everybody plant a garden, and then in the other hand, make make laws that are against planting gardens, and make and and make uh, arrest people for raw milk, and have the FDA going wild. I mean, it's it's psychological warfare on the on the American public, and they just now he's got this. He's in Australia, okay. I'm, uh, he, he's praising Australia's draconian carbon taxes, okay, while at the same time, uh, the climate change signals expected to be relatively small over the next twenty to thirty years. This is from the BBC, uh, uh, written by Richard Black. There's low confidence that tropical. Uh, uh, climate change signals have become more frequently uh, have become more frequent, limited to medium uh, to medium evidence available to assess whether climate factors have changed the frequency of floods, and it's not true. It's small. While it's likely that uh, influences are behind the changes in cold days and warm days, there's only medium confidence that there are behind the changes in extreme rainfall events and low confidence in attributing any tropical cyclone activity to greenhouse gas emissions or anything else humanity has ever done. Okay? Of course, global warming is a fraud, but meanwhile, he's backing Rothschild's bank. Okay? This is how it works. The Goldman Sachs buddies and all these people, the Rothschilds, they got him elected to continue the, the agenda. And he's just fooling the population saying he was going to do all these things, you know, give you five days to read a bill, uh, you know, going to give the American, you know, slammed Obamacare down everybody's throat, made, turning socialism into fascism, going wild with the FDA. I mean, oh, it's just unbearable. This fitted guy, like a whacked out sort of guy who was trying to get an ambassadorship. I'll, I'll go into the whole thing tomorrow. But he shot him on the 2nd of July, 1881, at the train station, uh, in Washington, interestingly enough, if you add up the numbers, uh, they're nine, nine, nine. Uh, seven and two is nine. One and eight is nine, and eight and one is nine. I just never noticed that until recently when I had done some research on numerology because of this eleven, eleven, eleven. We are exchanged with host Howard Nima.
Exposing the collectivist global elite's Malthusian quest for a new world order. A one world dictatorial government where all aspects of human life are under their control. Truth Talk Radio, where news the mainstream media ignores is the top story and your voice is heard. Fridays, 1 to 3 p.m. and Saturdays, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Only on informedradio.com. This is going to be a great show. I got a lot of things planned. It's going to be uh, quite an interesting experience. A lot of news to cover. A lot of pertinent information that the media ignores because this is We Are Change where news the controlled mainstream media ignores is the top story and your voice is heard. Anyway, um, you can also check us out at wearechangect.org. Uh, there are rebroadcasts of all these shows at uh, informedradio.com and uh, video broadcasts at YouTube slash Freedom First Films. Tomorrow, interestingly enough, is uh, the 180th birthday of James Garfield, who was born on November 19th, 1831. Uh, he was shot on uh, July 2nd, 1881. As everyone knows, he was, of course, assassinated. He died sometime later on uh, the 19th of uh, September of that year. But I just thought it's interesting. There's, I'm going to do a whole uh, perspective on the, the life of James Garfield tomorrow. And I thought I would just preamble that because it's going to be real interesting. I've got a lot of good stuff planned for it. Interestingly enough, the day that he was uh, shot by John Guiteau, uh, uh, Charles Guiteau, excuse me, who was uh, uh, like a, a real like 